Hi guys, good day. Today I'm going to show you on how to fix uh, the ODBC issue, most specifically an issue regarding ODBC SQL Server driver cannot generate SSPI context. Okay, now I'm going to show you. I have, uh, I'll open my VMware virtual machine uh, in here I have a domain controller I have node 1 node 2 and witness I'm going to show you I'll create an ODBC here in the witness machine and uh, I'll try to connect to node 1 and node 2 so right now I'm going to create uh, an ODBC I'll expand uh, Windows Administrative Tools. In here, I have ODBC 32-bit and 64-bit. Now, let's try 64-bit. Okay. Now, I'm going to create an ODBC. To connect to this Node 1 and Node, node 1 and Node 2, by the way, is an SQL server. Node 1 has a SQL server in it. And also, Node 2 has a SQL server. These are actually all, all, always on, but it, uh, for the sake of this example, I'll use these two, node 1 and node 2. So right now, let's go back to the witness machine for the example only. Let's try to create an ODBC. Now it in here, in the ODBC, I click add, and the XL server, click the XL server and finish. And in here, the name, I'll just testing then server name it should come up with <clears throat> a result and you notice uh, node 2 it only show node 2 why is it node 1 is not showing that's the question why is it only showing node 2 the reason for that it's because in the server Go back to node 1. Let's see, because the node 1 is not here in the list. I'll show you the reason why it's not, the node 1 is not showing. It's because, let's go to node 1. In the configuration manager, SQL Server configuration manager, uh, the browser under the SQL Server services, in the SQL Server browser is disabled or stopped. So to be to let's start this one. It's now started. Okay, let's go back to the witness, and uh, let's refresh this one or let's try opening it again. Uh, clicking the drop bar. See the one? It showed Node One and Node Two. The reason for that it's because the SQL Server browser is stopped or disabled. Now let's uh, confirm in Node 2. Let's check Node 2. If let's see if the browser is on in Node 2. All right. Let's log in. All right. Okay. I'll close this one. Let's open the configuration manager. You see that one in, in node 2, the configuration manager, the SQL browser is running. And that's the reason why node by default, node 2 is, is, is uh, in the list, server list. Okay. Let's, uh, I'll disable both node 1 and node 2 in, uh, I'll disable both browser in node 1 and node 2. Let's go to node 2, disable, stop the SQL Server browser. Stop it. And also I'll go to node 1 and stop the SQL Server browser. And let's see the result. It's stopped now in node 1. Let's check node 2. It's also stopped. So go back to the witness and refer refresh. Let's click the arrow down. And voila, see the one? 
it's gone. The reason for it, it's because of the SQL browser service. It must be started. Okay, let's start that one and let's try to see if we can connect to the data the databases. Okay, in, uh, let's open SQL Server in Node 1. And also, let's open SQL Server in Node 2. Management Studio, sorry. And now from here, because we both started the SQL Server browser service, we, I'm very sure we can see this the uh, node one and node two in the list server list. Let's click the drop down list again. Now you can see node one and node two, All right? Let's click that one and let's try to connect to one of the databases in this node one server. Let's click next and click uh, next again. Oh, there's an error. Okay, this is the this vid This is the reason why I I created this video to show you on how to fix this, how to connect using the Windows uh, login. Okay, let's go back to Node One. Let's connect to one. Uh, let's see the database. What are the databases? Inside node one server skills instance, server instance, right in here in the database, the basis. It's expanded. It's it it has only one database in it. Test one. Now, let's try to connect using SQL login. Let's click that one. And let's check, check uh, node one if we have SQL local login. In the security, expand it. Okay, I have one user user login. Not I'll not use the SA. I'll just I created a local SQL account called user, and it has a it has a system admin uh, role in it. I'll test uh, accessing using the local SQL login. Then after that, let's try connecting using the Windows. See that one in the server roles. This is a system admin. This this user account has a system admin role. So let's go back to cancel the one. Let's go back to the witness server. And uh, let's use the lo local user SQL account called user, and I'll put the password. And now you can connect. Let's change the database. Let's see in node one, it has only one database, test one. See that one? Lo user database, test one. So click next, next, finish. Let's test the data source. And see the one test completed successfully. No problem. Our issue right now is how to connect using, let's still use node one, using the Windows login. Okay. Right now I'm going to show you by default it's using my administrator login, my Windows login. Let's click next. Oh, how to fix that error? Generate as a it's easy. Let's try to use change configuration name name pipes and click OK and now click next. Let's see if it will allow us. If not, I'll show you how to fix. Error. See the one? It's because Go back to your SQL server. In this example, it's node one. Let's go back to node one. Go back to the, let's minimize this one. Minimize, let's open back the configuration manager. Under the configuration manager, within the SQL server uh, network configuration, click that one and on the right side, double click the protocol. In here, the name pipes, 
is disabled. So enable that one. Then after enable, you need to restart the SQL Server service. Let's okay. Restart the SQL Server service. It's restarting now, and let's see what will happen after. taking time it's starting now all good it started so let's go back to the witness and see that one by uh, we change already the the from tcp ip we change it to name pipes now we'll click next this is using the windows login right so click next and now you can connect it's it has test one and next and finish and test data data source all good that's how i fix the that issue but i'm very sure there are different there are other solutions to the, this type of problem but in my case the, the reason why you cannot connect it's because you need to change it to name pipes and make sure in your sql server in your sql server the under the protocols in the under inside the configuration manager under the protocol protocols for skill server under the sorry under the skill server network configuration there's a protocol in it protocols for the for the instance skill server make sure that you enable name pipes and that fix the problem now because we tested only node one let's test also node two let's go back and let's connect to node 2 i'm very sure node 2 i'm not sure i forgot if i i, I changed the settings let now it's node 2 let's click next and use same windows login now it's because node 2 i have uh let's change the name pipes the libraries to network libraries to name pipes and click ok i'm not sure if i enabled the name pipes in node so but let's have a look click, click, click next i reckon it's still disabled because it's taking too long now um let's just wait for the error to come up yeah see the one it's an error it's er it errored so let's go to node 2 Cancel this one. Cancel the open. Close the management studio. Now in the configuration manager, let's close that one to avoid confusion. Okay, let's open configuration manager, skill server configuration manager. Under the skill server network configuration, there's the click the protocols for the instance skill server, and this on uh, the right side, enable the name pipes. Enable it. Then you need to restart the SQL Server service. Now right click, restart. This is node two, right? Right. We already fixed node one. Now just to confirm, just to show you that both nodes will work after I enable the name pipes. starting the service okay all good now let's go to the witness server now this is node 2 let's double check node 2 right let's click next then change client configuration name pipes all right then click next now it worked node 2 has two user databases except for the system database it has no test one and node two local db so let's click node two local db next finish let's test data source test complete so to summarize the 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 solution is name pipes to connect using your windows uh, domain account you just make sure that the name pipes uh, is configured in your odbc 
and also in your server make sure the name pipes protocol is enabled and that's uh, the fix for that issue thank you guys for watching the video hope you will subscribe and like this video thank you